The, um, as you notice, the, the comparison to uh, what he did and what Kim Burrell did, Kim obviously did the, the you know, the 16. He did, he's doing the triplet, but, it, but both are doing it on, on the syllable E. Uh, Kim did me, and then Daryl is not doing B. Um, so that, that's pretty much where they kind of kind of grab that, that rhythm and kind of make that interesting. And then the rest is like you have it listed there is that uh, pentatonic scale. And I think Kim did what, uh, F sharp? And Daryl's doing that F, um, A flat major? Yep, uh, she did yep. the, the F pentatonic scale. F and pentatonic. for those that were not here last week, uh, can you talk about just, just the pentatonic scale in its basic form? And then of course, you know, the key that uh, Daryl Coley is in, he's, he's in A flat, but just talk about the pentatonic scale. Yeah, it's just the, it's just grabbing the the five tones um, of in this case of the major scale, and that'll be the one, three, five, six. The great Daryl Coley, everybody. <laughs> So I heard something like uh hey, something like that. It might not be exact, but I heard like hey, something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's a great start. That's it, sir. Just from what I heard, my phone kind of picking up, kind of shot it, I think. But yeah. So, so basically, um, like with, 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 with any run, um, my number one recommendation is to, you know, be intentional uh, to the point where you actually slow it down and make sure that the accuracy element is in place, that you, that you slow it down and making sure you're hearing every element of it, vocalizing that accuracy at a slow, at a slow peak, at a slow speed, slow pace, and then once you once you uh, determine or actually um, are capable of doing the accuracy of it, then you actually add the speed to it. Um, and the challenge there at that point is adding speed and maintaining the accuracy. Um, sometimes some some singers can can do the run. And then when they add the speed to it, then now they, they've lost the accuracy of it. So the challenge is to actually make sure that you are, um, make sure you are maintaining that accuracy as you speed up. And if you, while you're adding that speed, if you start to mess it up, then start back, you know, start back at a slow pace to regain the accuracy and then, and then continue forth with the speed. So in that, when we start, um, give me the A flat again, Al. So if you just start there to actually slow that, and the slower you get it, then you're actually able to actually obtain that. At least that to me, that's that's probably one of the harder runs because of that with the triplet of the speed. And then he does something. He does something different on the back end of it than what he actually did when he actually recorded it. So wait. Let's go try that, Antonio. Oh, be Something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So try just that part again. Da, 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 da. 
Try that. Da, 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 Mm-hmm. Now let's add, let's just add the speed. Yeah, that speed is crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> I probably could play it better than I can sing it. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah. uh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So go, go, um, what's the name?